What's up everybody? Rudy Ortiz with SoCal Epoxy Pools here with another quick tip when you're working with epoxy swimming pool paint and you're remodeling your swimming pool. Uh, this one is in regards to the taping of the uh, tile area whenever you decide that you're going to be working on a swimming pool. Now this pool that we're in here right now has actually been completed. Uh, the project is done. We went ahead and we uh, finished putting the epoxy yesterday and it's all complete. So we are actually going to be removing the tile tape area um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that or the taping over the tiles um, because that can definitely damage your product it'll definitely ruin your project and if you don't peel it correctly you can actually end up peeling some of the epoxy off of the surface of the walls and you don't want to do that so the way that I do it let me show you here I'm going to go ahead and flip the phone quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about so when you're pulling the tape as you can see we finished painting this pool all the way around you'll see a nice straight line or at least for the most part you'll see a nice straight line especially down in the deep end uh, some of the tiles have fallen off so we have to replace those and that's more of the reason why you see the blotches the white marks like right there uh, because those are tiles those are missing tiles but um, what you want is you want to have a clean slate like you do over there so you have a clean slate so let me show you guys how you remove tape from epoxy so basically you get the sharp object whatever it is you're using and not too hard not too soft apply pressure going upwards and you make a cut okay okay very simple make a cut now at first it may not seem like you're doing anything but you will notice when Pull the tape off. Should come off pretty easy. Okay. Oh. And as you're peeling it, okay, there may be areas that you didn't cut or that you might want to go back and cut again but for the most part you can just peel it off like this now you might have some leftover green stuff depending on how you taped it up uh, I use green frog tape because it always comes off a little bit easier um, but you're still gonna have these little areas but it's not gonna be as much so you may have to go back there and pry <laughs> But you won't be pulling on any epoxy, which is what you're really trying to avoid. Okay, so, see that? So, okay. So, and this can be done also on like, let's say you have steps, pull steps that have designs on them, and you don't know how to paint or you don't want to paint over them. So when you are actually working on the surface of the pool, what you can do is you can apply this type of tape, duct tape, masking tape, and uh, cover basically all of the tile. Um, then whatever lines you want to paint on, like let's say you want it epoxy blue here, here, you would have to basically have the whole thing taped to make it easy for you. Go back and then cut here, cut here, cut here, cut here. Whatever grooves are in the in the tile, um, it's it's time consuming. But whatever grooves are in the tile, you would cut, and that would give you an opening to go ahead and lay the epoxy over it. Then once you're complete, you'd have to go back and take all the little pieces of tape off. It's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong; it ain't easy. But uh, that's probably the most simplest way. Uh, that I've been able to do that So this is what the project looks like after removing the tape um, From the tile area Obviously, I have to go in there and polish up a little bit of the tile that you see there just to make it all plush nice and clean, but um, That will uh, take another session and I do have a video you guys can watch it's called uh, cleaning tiles like a pro uh, that shows you how to remove um, a lot of the calcium from pool tiles um, and you can find that video in my playlist here on uh, YouTube 
that is also very helpful for when you're trying to remove calcium from tiles. Um, but this is what it looks like once we are done removing the tape. Uh, this is the pretty much the final product. I do, again, have to go in there and polish some of that tile up to make it look nice and plush. But um, yeah, this is the method that I use uh, without breaking my head, without having to um, ruin any of my work, uh, especially when it comes to peeling the tape and peeling it off the walls because epoxy tends to do that quite a bit if you don't do it correctly so just thought i'd post this video up hopefully you guys find it helpful if you do please so uh leave a comment or some suggestions or also feel free to subscribe to my channel as i do have um future videos in the works that i will be posting very soon and this is rudy ortiz socal epoxy pools coming at you again with another tip and trick hopefully that helps you guys out when you're remodeling or restoring your surface the resurfacing of your pool with epoxy pool paint thank you for watching